In Ecclesiastes chapter 6, we see the narrator expound on wisdom that is still very relevant today. See, we live in a culture of consumption more, more, more. And there's cultural influence on expanding our own wealth, our own power, and even our own prestige. We think about the outward perceptions of others, and we ruminate over our own legacies. But the Bible says, what good are all of the possessions of the world without purpose, fulfillment, or peace of mind? In verse one of Ecclesiastes six, it says, I have seen another evil under the sun, and it weighs heavily on mankind. God gives some people wealth, possessions, and honor so that they lack nothing that their hearts desire. But God does not grant them the ability to enjoy them, and instead strangers enjoy them. So what is the author trying to say here? The point is that it's meaningless for us to toil away trying to place purpose and meaning in our possessions. God can grant us all of the desires of our heart, but if we do not use our resources for His greater purpose, they will just have been accumulated for future generations to enjoy. See, the point is that that's being illustrated in Ecclesiastes 6 is that our purpose is higher than our circumstances. And even when those circumstances are times of blessing, we have a greater innate purpose than to accumulate possessions. That's not our purpose on earth. We should not be hoarding our blessings, but rather we should serve as a conduit of God's blessings to other people. So many people miss so much precious time chasing after meaningless pursuits. Chapter six, verse 12 reads, for who knows what is good for a person in life during the few meaningless days that they pass through like a shadow? Who can tell them what will happen under the sun after they are gone? See, time is a gift from God and we never know how much time he allows. And time, in fact, is the only finite resource in the world. So as you glean wisdom from reading Ecclesiastes 6 today, try to keep focus and conviction on the main idea of the passage, that our purpose as Christ followers is greater than our resources and greater than our circumstances, and that acquiring all of the wealth, all of the desires of our heart would actually be meaningless if we squander our limited time on lesser pursuits.